grade ones, my name is Teacher Di and this is a grade one English lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. It's so nice to have you here with me today. I'm excited to teach you something new. We're going to be remembering a lot of the other things that we've been learning and then we're going to add something new and it's going to be super fun. If you have any questions while I'm talking, ask mom or dad to send an email to the address on your screen now. That's grade one at worksheetcloud.com and I'll do my best to answer your question in my next lesson. Okay, let's get started. This is a grade one phonics lesson and we are going to be learning a new sound. Right, before we learn that new sound, let's go over the two new ones that we've already done. Do you remember? What is this sound? How do you say it? It's a shh. Okay, when we see a s and a h together, we make the shh sound. Great, and how about this one? Do you remember there was a bowl of chips to remind us? It's the ch sound. Right, when you see a k and a h next to each other, you say ch. So we've got shh and ch. Let's remember some of those sh words. Can you sound that out? Sh, a, p, shop. Very good. Sh, i, p, ship. W, i, sh, wish. F, i, sh, fish. Well done. How about this one? It's a ch word. Ch -i -n, chin, ch -i -p, chip, r -i -ch, rich, ch -o -p, chop. Well done, that's awesome. And so let's also do our sight words, seeing as though we're doing lots of reading in this phonics lesson. We've got four sight words and I'm going to tell you something interesting about one of them. Let's just remind ourselves the first one that we learned was the sight word the. Then we did another one which was out. Good. And look. And then the last lesson we did was down. So those are our four sight words and I said to you, don't worry about sounding them out. You don't know all the sounds that you need to know for these words. For now we call them sight words and that means that when we see them, we just say them. So we see this word and we just say the. We don't try and sound it out, we just say what it is, the. But the interesting thing about that sight word, the first one that we ever learned, the the, is that today we are actually going to learn the sounds that make up that word. So now it is actually one of the words we can sound out. So the sound today is the. And this is for thunder. Can you make that sound? You put your tongue between your teeth. For thunder or the. Kind of tickles your tongue. Let's do it again. This is our thunder sound. When you see a t and a h, now you know that trick. It's we don't sound out the word t h. We now say th or th. Okay, let's see if we can do some of these words. Ah, there's our sight word. Now we can actually sound it out. Th, th. There we go. And these words, the one, the first few I'm going to show you, I can't really put a picture with them. They're words that are really useful in sentences, but they don't really have a picture because they're not a noun, which you'll learn about later. Anyway, what does this word say? The. Very good. Next one. Hm, e, m, them. Great. You try. Good job. Let's do it together. Th, e, n, then. Very good. Th, a, t, that. Well done. W, i, f, with. Very nice. 
Ah, now we've got a word that does actually have a picture to help us. So can you guess what the word is? It's got the, our sound of the day, the mm sound in it. Here's a little girl and she's got, she's a sister. And there's a little boy next to her. And who do you think this is? It's her brother. Right, let's write the word brother. We can sound this word out now. It's got our special sound in it. B -r -a -m -e -r. Brother. Now you try. Brother. Well done. Ah, what number is this? It's the number three. Good. And what sound is at the beginning of the word three? Very nice. Let's write it. Three. Three. Well done. Three. Ah, what is this man doing? Hmm. He's sitting outside and he's thinking. Great. Think. Let's see if we can sound it out. Think. Think. There we go. Think. Think. Well done. Those are all the words. Very good. Okay, now I want to see if you can guess the missing word. And the clue is that it has one of our words for the day in it. Okay, which means it's got our sound. So here we've got the sister and her brother. And it looks like he is three. And so the sentence is, my hmm is hmm. What do you think that could be? My brother is three. Well done. Let's read that sentence together. My brother is three. Good job. Okay, one more to make us think. What is this a picture of? Ah, big clouds, there's no lightning, but I can imagine that there's some rumbling sounds in the sky. What do we call those rumbling sounds? Thunder, right. The thunder is loud. Are you scared of thunder? I'm not. I actually love thunder. I don't know why, just I find it very exciting. Um, it, nothing can happen to you. It's just the clouds rubbing up against each other, making a loud noise. Here's a sentence. The thunder is loud. Well done. That was really good work. We've now added a sound button to our toolbox. We had shh. We also had ch. And today we've added one more. There we go. So you have your alphabet sounds in your toolbox. And how many alphabet sounds are there? A, B, K, D. How many? Shall we count? You're going to need lots of fingers and toes. Let's try. Say um, the, let's say the name of the alphabet sounds. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Whew, that's 26 sounds. Those are the names of the letter, A, B, C, and you know all the sounds that go with them. A, B, K. And now you know three more sounds. Sh, ch, and f. So you have 26 plus 3 sounds in your letter toolbox. That's 29. And you are well on your way to reading brilliant stories. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope that you do read a story today or ask mom or dad to read you a story. Okay, now I've prepared an activity for you that you can download. That's all about the mm sound. You'll see some of the pictures that we've discussed today and you need to fill in the mm sound. And what two letters make up the mm sound? A t and a h. Right. 
Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that fun phonics reading lesson with me. I really enjoyed having you with me here today, and I'm picturing you all sitting there on the other side of the screen. Have a lovely day, and thank you for joining this lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.